Hi, this is Tony at the Red Power Team. Today we're going to do a quick Pro 700 overview and walking through some of our run screens. So this is a run screen layout for a 2000 series planner. This is kind of what Red Power Team does for a standard layout. When we look across the bottom, we generally see run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. But what we've done is we've renamed these tabs to help us out with our planting process. Anywhere from unfolding our planner to monitoring our planner. And this is kind of a step-by-step -step process. So the first tab is unfold and it gives us all of our fold and unfold functions as well as putting our planner frame in plant mode. So we'll have another video here that you'll be able to reference if you want to look and see how to fold and unfold your planner. Uh, go through that video on our Red Power YouTube channel in order to go through that part. So we have our bar array set to limited. We now go to our field tab at the bottom and this tab allows us to quickly get a quick overview to make sure that yes I have the right grower, farm, and field selected. I've got a task created. My crop type I'm planting corn. Our work condition just to help reinsure us that we've got the right work condition selected with our planner. Uh, and we can see up top that our implement is showing our 16 row planner is selected and our operation instance. So this is plant one. This is the first time we're planting a field. If I had to do a replant out in the field, I would select this operation instance and call it plant two at that time. We continue across the bottom and we go to a startup tab. Under the startup tab, this kind of gets our planner started up and going for us. So in this instance, I would have my hydraulics turned on on the tractor each of the remotes in motor mode as well as my PTO turned on if equipped. From this point is where we can go down and we can turn on our alternator controls, our vac controls, our bulk fill controls if they're not already enabled through the daily operations wizard. We've got our air compressor controls, planner systems start button on here, and we can see what each of these things are actually reading out in RPMs. I've got my alternator control here on the left, as well as the alternator rate that it's running at. I've got battery voltage, alternator voltage. We can see our VAC control, our VAC actual rate, our bulk fill control, and then what the bulk fill is actually running at. We can also see our air compressor pressure as well. As we continue across the bottom, we have a settings tab, and this allows us to adjust even more settings on our planner. For instance, if we have the clean sweep on our planner, so the air cylinders on each of the row cleaners, we have several different options that we can set those row cleaners in. So we can select which option we want. Maybe we want to have a little bit of lift pressure on that row cleaner and I want to maybe add 40 pounds of lift to my row cleaners to help take some weight off of them. Wing downforce control, we can turn on our wing downforce control and adjust how many pounds that we are trying to transfer out onto our wings from the center of the planner. From there we also go down to our delta force. We have downforce control with our delta force. Uh, we have some preset settings from light, standard, heavy, as well as we can select some custom settings also. Overlap control, uh, seed bins, whether we're out of seed in our bulk fill hoppers. We've got marker control options. As we continue across the bottom, we get to a guidance screen. This is where we're going to create our AB lines out in the field or select different guidance lines that we have already created. Please refer to our video uh, at the Red Power YouTube channel that covers how to create different guidance lines. We can see on this graph tab, we can see our, what our gauge wheel force is on each of the rows for our delta force, as well as if you look off to the side, we can also see our seed graph that shows us the population that each of the rows is actually doing. Another helpful hint is at the bottom of the seed graph, we see some squares this will tell us whether the row is turned on or off by the clutches kicking on and out as well. Some other handy features that we might see is jump start control. 
what we utilize jump start control for is if we want to start those meters going as we let out the clutch we're going to press our jump start control in order to start that meter spinning right away when we take off out in the field some other quick navigation is if we press our back button we can see we have at our home screen many more options anywhere from you might be going to calibrations and sensors in order to zero out your row unit load cells that'll be featured in another video as well we can go back to our main screen we can always hit our run screen to go back to this main screen or we can go back and you're going to see other helpful options in here like our wizards in order to get to our main wizards to walk us through our daily operations so this was just a quick video to help walk you guys through uh, just some quick navigation on the standard run screen layouts that we have to offer on a 2000 series planner thank you for watching this video hopefully you found the information helpful check out our other helpful videos on 2000 series planner on the red power team youtube channel thank you